Cat, you're coming to rap with us. Yeah. So I'm gonna clean it with the rubbing alcohol. Um, Swati has her nail prep and polish wipe. Um, you wanna use isopropyl alcohol, basically rubbing alcohol. You can get it, used to be Maplin would have some because you can clean PC parts and all that stuff with it. You can go anywhere to be honest, Amazon, eBay, it's a few quid for a bottle. That's why I uses it for her nail stuff. So she's cutting the piece um, because on this one, we basically just need it to go to the edge. So just there. We don't need to sort of go all the way deep. So we're just basically covering the face of the S and the little edge part. So just a quick measure up just to see and I think that's, that's big enough anyway. We should have probably tried this earlier, but I wanted it to be a bit extra because on the S4 we took everything off and did it properly. All right, so yeah, we've used our rubbing alcohol and then Swati's, because she's got nails, she's sort of done it in between. When you've cleaned it properly, it sticks. I had to pull it hard. I thought I would have, was going to break the badge. Like, actually, I was going to break it. So loads of excess. We have a huge sheet and we barely wrap, so... We're okay with wasting a little bit, having excess. And you should see it start to take shape, as you can see. The lines are coming through already, and it's taking its own shape by itself. So yeah, exactly what Swati did, you wanna just go over all of it and then when you're actually cutting and all of that and tucking it in, then you want to go over like one edge at a time, but you want to do the overall one first. Just make small indentations, like just like she's doing, but don't cut yet. Do those final cuts at the end. So anything with, with like 3D or grooves or anything like that, um, just do it this way. Oh yeah, we're going go cutting in a bit. It's got like two levels, yeah, so it will dip down a bit, and this, move your fingers a second here, yeah. this is the one we want, up to there. This is all plastic further down, but this first little indent just there, that's the chrome part, so we want to cut afterward, cut there. But I'm not going to repeat yesterday, so he's going to do it. Let me come around the other side for you guys. You do want to make mistakes because if you don't make mistakes, you're not really going to. Like, if you don't make those mistakes, you're not going to know what you need to do next, like what to change, what to kind of get better on. That's why I'm giving you the knowledge. You know, you've done the same thing about five times now. I'm making sure it's so smooth. This is the thing that he passed me for taking so long to do things, but yesterday when I took over uh, shut up. the R badge from him, I ended up making it look a little bit better. Show you guys a trick now, yeah? So, this is obviously, it's not heated, yeah? I have to press quite a bit just to cut that like that, yeah? Let me show you what it's like when it's heated. It's like butter, in it? Literally. So yeah, I'm cutting at the moment, but what I am doing is actually I'm going a little bit lighter than I normally would. I'm leaving it quite big. So look, that's how light I'm going. You can see that I've made an impression, but it's not actually cut, yeah? Keep it very light. Very light, just because I want to know where I'm going. Then once I've decided, okay, yeah, you know what, I'm happy with that line. And I'm not going around all the way just yet. Okay, cool, I'm happy with that line. Then stab it in. Yeah. Um, we're going to do that. My battery's super low, it's about to die, so we'll do this. And then we'll just show you after it's trimmed the first stage. 
So the rough trim is done. That's why it's just going to do the fine trimming to where we actually want it. And I'm going to get out of the way because I'm causing a shadow. So you guys have to hold back for a sec. I just grabbed my charger from my work bag so we can record as much as we need to. Oh yeah. Did it throw me? Oh, midge. Is that chrome? Yeah, it's the smallest bit, but I'll show you a cheek. Stick it on. Stick a little piece on there. Show the people real quick. So there's a tiniest sliver of chrome. Let me focus. <clears throat> there. But you would see that when the light catches it. So, take that piece that I just took. So the, if you get it nice and hot and press it down again, it just makes the adhesive a lot more sticky. See oh yeah, that? it's a good finish. I've stuck it in there, so I've yeah. pushed it under. Alright, so final trimming around it is done. So, very, very good. Especially for second time ever. Just go around quickly. Really neat other than that one tiny little slip up before and if there's a little bit of chrome showing that's fine because it will give it some contrast <laughs> so we'll do that and then show it we'll cut out one piece and show you how it looks all right so we did the first bit obviously there's chrome showing from this angle from the front <coughs> it's all good and you do want a bit of contrast anyway because otherwise if, if everything's black carbon nothing stands out so i'm happy with that so we'll just show you how slightly it does it This is my lightning, by the way. <clears throat> Very professional. If it works, then why not? Yeah, but look at what my tool is. My tool is what you're one of your mum's <laughs> knitting things. So did you cut in the middle or towards the top edge? I cut in the middle, to be fair. I just kind of know what room I've got to play with. Then you want to heat it up one more time once you're done the trimming. Yeah. Um, and then just sort of tuck it in with your... What is that? A knitting needle? Yeah. We'll do the rest. Because um, it's just the same but upside down now. So we'll show you the finished product. See you guys. This is how it looks on the car. Looks really nice, very nice. Um, there is this little plastic bit, like I said, here and here, which I snapped in the process because it was upside down. So I might just get a piece of plastic and just sort of super glue it or anything like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will also, in another video, we'll be doing this one. Um, so obviously on this one is part of the boot latch mechanism um, and this one will take off um, we'll use dental floss take it off clean up the residue wrap it uh, and then pop it back on 